Hey yarn friends, welcome back to Llama Llama Kayla's Yarn Tube. I'm Kayla and I appreciate you stopping by for yet another visit. So today I want to tell you about a book I got. Uh, my sweet friend Crystal at Chronically Crocheting showed this book on her channel and I loved the little things that she made and wanted to order it right away and um, work on these projects. So here's the book. It is Hooked on Amigurumi. And you can see all the little adorable things that you can make. And Crystal had made a lot of the little things. Um, one thing I forgot to check before I started the video. <laughs> the recommend recommended hook. I'm not sure if each project um, recommends the same hook. I know it's a tiny hook. Uh, 3.5. And let me just double check that on all of them and see. Not all, but a couple of them here. 3.5. And 3.5. I think that's the common um, hook through the book is a 3.5. So I've made two items from the book and I'd like to show them to you and tell you about them. I did order this on Amazon, and it came very, very quickly, surprisingly quickly, but um, it's, I'll leave a link below to where you can find this book. Okay, so this book recommends the 3.5 hook, and that is tiny, and guess what? I cannot use this size hook yet, but I'm going, I, I'm sure it takes practice, right? So I'm going to keep practicing and so I can get down to where I can use this hook. So as I got the book in and I tried to um, crochet with this a little bit, I kept, um, when I was pulling yarn through, it wasn't pulling the whole loop through. It just pull a few, uh, some of the strands and leave some strands. And I'm sure that just takes practice getting used to using the smaller hook. So what I decided I was going to do is I was going to start with my H hook. Sorry about the birds. I was going to start with my H hook because I am comfortable using that. And um, I made two items using my H hook. And then I'm, in the next items, I'm going to go down a hook size. And I'm just going to continue doing that until I can get down to the uh, 3.5 that's actually recommended. So, of course, I know that my items are going to be larger than um, the intended items in the book, but that's fine. You know, it's just, I'm just doing this for practice and fun. <clears throat> no real purpose in doing it, except I want to crochet, and I like crocheting cute things. So, anyway, <clears throat> so I did use the H hook. All right, the first project that I did in here is... Um, Pippa the Princess. And I'll show you what she looks like in the book. She's so cute. Isn't she? Okay. Oh, I just realized that I didn't add my hair yet. Because I set it over there and I was thinking, you know, I needed to add, add the hair in my princess here. And um, I never did get the brown out. I was going to give her dark brown hair. I never got the brown out. And so... I forgot, <laughs> but anyway, I'll show her anyway. Okay, so here is my Pippa the Princess, and you can see she has some little dangly tassel out of her hip top there, but um, she's really cute, but I can tell you that I got off stitch count probably fairly early into the hat. Okay, um... <laughs> So she kind of just ended up being uh, my own creation. <laughs> Let me just show you. Um, in the book, I mean, she is going to be small because she's made with a 3.5 book. But um, I changed her whole complete shape there, it seems. And my arms are kind of not like her arms in the, you know, mine are kind of like, um, <laughs> instead of off to the side. <laughs> But anyway, I think she's cute. I like her. Um, and she I did manage to make the bottom flat. So she um, sits flat there on my desk. And so um, that works for me. 
<clears throat> I used a Premier yarn, those little um, Premiers that you can get at Dollar Tree. I used the lilac one, and I had just a little bit left over from that, so it used almost a whole one. And then this color is a uh, Craft Smart Ivory or something like that. And then I used um, some safety eyes that I had. And then that white is actually a soft white by Red Heart. So anyway, I think she turned out cute and I really like her. Um, and like I said, I got off stitch count. I'm not really a stitch counter. Um, I like to just crochet. I don't like to count stitches. <laughs> and when you do a project like this, I'm learning. You probably need to count your stitches. And that kind of takes the fun out of it for me. <laughs> but she worked up anyway. Okay, so that is um, Pippa the Princess. <coughs> and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to add her some hair before I put her on Instagram. Excuse me. <coughs> okay, so let me just tell you something that I like about this book is that when you're making the pieces, you uh, make the little pieces first, such as the arms or fins or wings or whatever the you know little amigurumi is you make the little pieces first and then you make the project and then as you're making the project you crochet those pieces into the project so there's no sewing parts together at the end and so that's really cool I like that one thing I don't like about the book is I like working in the round, finishing off that round, slip stitch, chain one, and then start the next round. Um, from what I can tell in this book that you don't do that. You just kind of work in the spiral. Um, I, lose, I lose myself with that. Even trying to use stitch markers, I don't know. I just, I have trouble doing that, um, working in a spiral. And not finishing off a round and slip stitch, chain one, and then start the new round. That's the way I like to work. So this, um, that kind of throws me off. And I did start trying to use a stitch marker to mark that first stitch. Um, but it just doesn't always work out like that for me. I don't know. Okay, so my next project is I wanted to make Nessie the Loch Ness Monster. Isn't he cute? He's, he's really cute. Okay, so I made him. I can tell you that I probably by round four, I was totally off stitch count, way off stitch count, and <clears throat> I just kind of kept going, and then as I got to his neck area, I'll just show you mine. This is mine. He turned out really, really cute. Um, I love the way he looks. Okay, so somewhere up in here, I lost stitch count. Through the neck right here, I was way below stitch count. And so I tried to put some increases in there to get back up to stitch count. Um, I don't know that I ever got back up to stitch count, but I went ahead and, you know, got down to this part and I had made the hump because I had to make you to make that beforehand. And then I had the hump and, um, I read the next directions and I wasn't quite sure. <coughs> I wasn't quite sure, um, if I was reading the directions. <coughs> Excuse me. I wasn't quite sure if I was reading the directions correctly, so I just kind of pushed it to the side and worked on another project. Well, then my neighbor had walked down for a quick visit, and um, so I asked her to read that and um, asked her if she thought that, you know, what she thought it meant, if I was understanding it correctly, and she agreed that that's what she thought. So I said, okay, well, I'll get back on it. So thanks, Erica, for your help. And um, so after she left, I got back on it and just started working it like that. Then I didn't even know where 
the first stitch should be um, after I had joined this to the back of the neck and then I worked around the first row. I didn't know where the last stitch should end, the first stitch should begin, or anything like that. So I was kind of on my own again. <laughs> and so, um, like, I had, I think I had way too many stitches. I just don't know why I couldn't get on the right stitch count. I never, I never did throughout the whole thing. I never did get back on the right stitch count. And so, um, thank goodness there are these pictures right here. So, my idea was, okay, I'm just going to make it look like the pictures. <laughs> so, that's what I did. I just went around my rows and tried to make it look like these pictures. And so, I was like decreasing, increasing, you know, doing all, whatever. I didn't know what I was doing. I was just crocheting and putting increases and decreases <clears throat> and so I just kept going and going until you know I thought it was looking like the picture and I did rip it out several times and you know be like okay maybe I need to start you know add a few more de increases and I was just trying to space my increases out you know like throughout it um I didn't know what I was doing I'm just being honest here because I was way off stitch count and I didn't know how to get back on stitch count because I kept trying. I was doing decreases, increases or whatever, trying to get back on their stitch count, but I was so far off. And so I just kept going, <coughs> trying to make it look like the picture. And, um, and then when I added my fins, I added my fins on the same row. But then looking at the picture later, I think maybe... Maybe on one row I should have added the front fins, and another row I should have added the back fins. I'm not quite sure about that, but anyway, um, I just kept going. And then whenever I got to the tail part, I did leave that little thing right here, a little opening there. And then after I finished it off, um, I went back to make the tail. And, of course, I was off stitch count because my original piece was off stitch count so i just um made it up the best i could and i'm happy with it <laughs> i think my tail might be a little longer than the pitcher's tail but uh, he probably needs a longer tail swimming in the ocean <laughs> so anyway the bottom part is kind of flattish so he does sit up like this and i can tell you that elijah loved him and Normally, Elijah's um, not too crazy about my crochet stuff. He's not one that, um, you know, really appreciates the hard work or whatever. <laughs> He's, he always says, oh, yeah, that's nice or something. But he really did like my um, Nessie. And so, um, usually, usually, I'll make something. He'll say, oh, that's cool. Or that's nice. Or, you know, something. I'll say, you want it? And he'll say, no. <laughs> I've tried to pass things off on him before, and he always says, no. So, he was saying, oh, that's cute. You know, I like that. And I was like, you want it? And he was like, yeah. And I was like, really? And so, I told him, I said, let me show it on YouTube, and then you can have it. So, he'll probably sit on his desk in his bedroom. But anyway, um, I like how my Nessie turned out. And I'll show you again the uh, picture that it's supposed to look like. And the picture that mine is. And you remember mine is bigger because I used a bigger hook. And plus I was off stitch count and kind of made it up. Like I really can't say that my Nessie is this pattern. Because it is not. <laughs> but um, it's really cute. And I do plan on making some more things out of this book. Because it is a really cute book. Um, I might make this little gnome next. Um... But I might go ahead and make him with the five hook and try to get my stitch count right. I don't know what I'm doing wrong there. I can follow patterns. It's not that I can't follow a pattern. I can. And I can stay on stitch count. I make those um, cuddler pillows by 3AM Grace Designs and I can stay on stitch count. It always works out perfect.
I don't know why. I they'll neither one of these projects I stayed on stitch count. So I'm gonna try the gnome and I'm gonna go ahead and try him with the five hook, the H that way. Um, because I need to learn to stay on stitch count with this. And I guess because it doesn't really um I, I you know, at the end of the row slip stitch and stain chain one or chain one and turn or whatever you know since it doesn't do things like that it's just kind of a spiral i think that's why i can't i don't know maybe that's why i'm just not working this right if you have suggestions i would love to hear them and um you know it, it, different things work for different folks and so something someone says might click with me and I'll be like, oh, yeah, why didn't I think of that? <laughs> so, you know, if you have suggestions or um, have ideas that helped you, <clears throat> please, you know, let me know. Uh, I wish it was a page that showed all the different little things in here. So I could just show you this adorable book. Well, here, here's this page. You can see there's... um. A little octopus, a watermelon, a mermaid, a Coke bottle, ice cream cone, the wine glass, toast, uh, coffee cups, coffee pots, teapots, a milk carton, you know, there's all, a sushi, all kinds of this fun little things in here. And everything in here has eyes, so it's a, um, what do you call that, Kawi, Kawi? Yeah. So, um, anyway, they're just all so cute. I want to make some more of these little items for no reason other than, um, you know, I don't have any ideas to do with the projects because obviously I don't have little kids. But um, just to try to learn to use a smaller hook is my goal. So, anyway, um, I wanted to share this with y'all. And if... You have to, oh, I just saw a page. Oh, yeah, here's, oh, that's the same thing on the front. Um, if you have suggestions for learning to use a smaller hook or for staying on stitch count when you're working on a spiral, and like I said, I did try to use a stitch marker, and it still didn't work for me. <laughs> but I thank you all for watching, and I will be back with this book later on to show you some more things that I've made from it.